But um, let us give support to what Mr. Thompson Fountain said yesterday. Um, I am one of the individuals who have been combing through that um, document. Um, the names that came up, um, the list that everybody going around with, I put that list together. Um, somewhere on Sunday when I went for that, I was just looking at familiar names from Dominica um, that was on that list. And interestingly, Matt, um, since I put up that list, I've been getting a lot of calls from Dominicans all over the place, even police officers wanting information because they want to find out the one the list and to go through it and to comb it. And Matt, um, I've been... But, but what, tell me, though, I mean, seriously, do you think that our police will investigate this, even if they're asking for that list? Do you think they're interested in doing some investigations? Um, the few of them that call me so far, I must say, I do not know if the top will allow it to go through, but a few of them have called me. But Matt, what is important, do we have to do the investigation. As Mr. Emmanuel told you, <laughs> I saw his name there. I was shocked when I saw Mr. Emmanuel name there um, three times and his, his address as well. Um, Six Coats and Crescent or something like that, um, Santa Roma. I was shocked, but um, I'm hearing from Mr. Emmanuel right now. He, he knows nothing about it. And that is interesting. And there are several names of individuals who are saying they don't know nothing about it. Their families are, are, um, are concerned um, about the, their name being there. And if you, when you do get some more information, you see it's leading you to a particular individual. You know, so pe they were using individual names to create those shell companies and for them to launder their money. And, and, and that is serious. We, as um, concerned citizens, politicians, the media, everybody have to get involved in getting that information out there. As Mr. Fountain said, send the information to him, send the information to the police, send the information to international agencies. Um, yesterday, I got three addresses of international um um, international institutions that do investigations like this, so I'll be sending some inf I'm sending information to them. I don't care what Tony has to say. Um, we have to do something about it in Dominica. We heard what happened in, in some other um, countries where ministers have been investigated, members of parliament, uh, they're taking the information to parliament to be debated, and we're not doing Domini not anything in Dominica for our sites. I think Jamaica is more, we can go into Jamaica several times, and there's no company, no one in Jamaica doing that. But in Dominica, we have over 500 um, um, clients. We have several um, companies and what uh, happened. Dominica seem to be featuring very prominently here. Yeah? Very prominently and Matt as well, what we have to look at, we have um, some of our attorneys tied to other um, in the, um, international racketeers and um, people that they have um, um, listed as, as fraudsters. We have um, People like Angel Lapsing that tied to us in the Panama Papers as well. We have David Kingshu, who was our ambassador as well, is on that Panama Papers. Um, Lucy Ma and all the others. So we have to, we can't run away from it. Um, Kieran Peanut Birds can't run away from it. Tony Asapans can't run away from it. Roosevelt can't run away from it. And all the others, because we have to find out why these companies will... Um, Create, shell companies were created in, in, in the BVIs. But, but give us an address because a few people seem to be wanting to do their own investigations. Where can they go find that information? Hector Spark, John. Um, the site name, you can click and type in Panama Papers, but the site name I think is um, I, I C I G. I think dot org. I C I G dot org. I C I J dot org. Yes, I think so. Um, then you. There's a place to tell you go in search of the database and you go in there, you will see all countries and you just click in Dominica and the information will come, come up right there. Um, so if you just click in ICIJ, I think it's International Consortium of Something um, Journalists. Uh, I think that's ICIJ and that's the acronym for it. And um, you go in there, if you just type in Panama Papers and whatnot, you, it can bring you to that site as well. And you go there and type in Dominica just click in, they have the all countries, and you just click in, and you'll see Dominica, you just click on Dominica, and you go in there, and you do your research, your own research, and you can see the names. We, I, I, they still, my baby has some, um, some editing to do, because there are some names, um, Dominican Republic names that we have, but they have them linked to Dominica, so you, know, you go through it, and you get all the names you find that look like um, familiar to you and, and go and do your own research um there are people calling me and telling me that that particular p person works with them that person is dead that person is overseas that person working in that law office um sometime before 
Um, look at Gon Emmanuel thing. Does it tie? What to have transpired on the twenty fifth of Oct- um, December, two thousand and ten? Does it have any link with that? With the Panama Papers and what is um, what is being revealed right now? So these are the type of questions we have to ask, and we cannot run away from it as a country. We have to go after who um, creating those shell companies who preventing, um, who trying to run away from paying taxes in Dominica, where they get all that money. You know, we have to ask these questions. We cannot run away from it, and we have to let the chips fall where they may. But the police has a very important role to play in that invest in, in what's going on right now. And these are um, crim- criminal activities, and the police have a role to play. Let's see what happens. Um, other countries um, going forward with their investigations. I think during the course of this week and next week, Matt, You'll be hearing a lot of, um, and a few months down the road, you'll be hearing a lot about the Panama Papers because a lot of countries doing their own investigation. I just read yesterday that New York Times just started doing their own investigation because they got the information this is same time with a lot of the different um, countries on Monday. So now they're doing their investigation, uh, investigations on companies and individuals in the U.S., and they're also looking at all um, other um, individuals around the world. So it's going to be very, very interesting going down the road. Uh, very, very interesting. Hello, talk to me here.